Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and my channel is Psychology, where I bring you around the world to eat, see and explore. Today, I am standing right in front of this gigantic submarine. Never would I ever thought that I would do my opening for my video in front of this gigantic submarine. This submarine is called Paso Party. This submarine used to protect the waters of Indonesia, used by the Indonesian Navy and now it is is at the center of the city of Surabaya at the submarine monument here in Surabaya and you can actually go in and see the entire thing inside a submarine it's absolutely mind-blowing now, when I said when I was coming to Surabaya to my friend many of my friends didn't even know this city exists Surabaya is actually Indonesia's second most populous and biggest city in Indonesia Surabaya is home to the most famous Indonesia of all time without this person there would be no Indonesia he's the first president of Indonesia Mr. Sukarno Mr. Sukarno fought for the independence of Indonesia he served as the first president of Indonesia from 1945 to 1967 he is a legendary figure I think he's been married nine times in total nine times he has been married and he had 12 children one of his children Megawati Suparno Putri was also president of Indonesia. She was the fifth president of Indonesia. Surabaya is a well-hidden gem of Indonesia. Many of its food are found nowhere else. And I heard about the spicy, spicy food that Surabaya is famous for. So bring it on, Surabaya, because I am going to taste everything here in Surabaya and I'm bringing you with me. Now, before I do that, here is a little bit of the history of the fabulous city of Surabaya here in eastern Java, Indonesia. The name of the city of heroes is taken from the word Sura, meaning brave and Bahia, danger, which literally means daring to face the danger that comes. King Kertanegara, the last king of Singhasari, is cited to having found Surabaya in 1275 AD. Japan occupied the city in 1942 during World War II and it was bombed by the Allied in 1944. After the surrender of Japan, Surabaya was seized by Indonesian nationalists. The Battle of Surabaya started after the Are Are Suraboyo teenagers of Surabaya killed British Brigadier Orbatine Malabi. The Allies gave an ultimatum to the Republicans inside the city to surrender, but they refused. The ensuing battle, which cost thousands of lives, took place on 10th November, which Indonesians subsequently celebrated as Hari Pahlawan, Heroes Day. The incident of the red-white flag by Bung Tomo is also recorded as a heroic feat during the struggle of this city. Surabaya has been one of the most important and busiest trading port city in Asia. Its rich history as a trading port has led to a strong financial infrastructure with modern economic institution. Today, Surabaya flourished and it's one of the most important cities in Indonesia. So first off, breakfast. You know, I've covered a lot of cafes in my video. And I must say, this cafe has just taken my breath away. This is the most beautiful, Instagrammable cafe I have ever shot. This cafe is the south side of Surabaya. It's called Carpentier, not Carpenter, Carpentier Kitchen in Jalan Untung and I must say at the front it doesn't look very 
grand, but when you step inside, every single corner of this cafe is really meticulously、uh, placed. All the furniture, the plants, gives you a very weekend vibe, and also the view is really, really interesting. I mean, I, as I said, I've covered so many cafes in my videos. Nothing really faces me, but this cafe really is something. It's it sits in a huge bungalow, which I think a lot of property in Surabaya is like huge, huge bungalow. And this is Indonesia, so they they wrap the they wrap the cuddly in plastic. But I ordered the all breakfast with potatoes and eggs and sausages and my latte. Surabaya is really famous for all these. Incredibly beautiful cafe. I thought I was coming here for breakfast, but it's actually they have a lot of great apparels to sell here, and I'm particularly there's a lot of interesting things they sell here too. So I thought I'm coming for breakfast, but later breakfast I'm going shopping. I particularly like the cup that I think it's handmade here. So there you go, Carpentier, established 2012. Here in the south side of Surabaya, <sighs> incredible breakfast. And there is a specialty in Surabaya here that everybody recommended to me. This is, I think, only found in Surabaya. I don't know. I am at Kikil Puntu Ria Chak Ra Ratno Chak Ratno Stand Number Ten, and Uncle here makes the best Kikil. Kikil is the part, the cow of the the feet of the cow, and they make soup. Out of this part of the cow, and this is the soup. This is a lot, a lot of fat. You eat it with rice or lontong with the sambal. My first kikil. Hmm. So the taste is super, super sour. I think you eat it with sambal, but the soup is. Hmm. Soup is something else. Super, super spicy. If you can take it, then you have to eat the kikil of Surabaya. Here I am at the Majapahit Hotel in Surabaya. Are you not impressed? Stayed in many hotels around the world. This has got to be one of the best. Majapahit Hotel was built 1910, and it was called Orange Hotel. Orange Hotel, for obvious reason, built by the Dutch, and it's a very historical building. I mean, everything here is very heritage, very colonial time. Grand staircases, magnificent fountains. Mountain chandeliers. I mean, it's just absolutely mind blowing. This beautiful wooden floor, and I'm on the ground floor that I don't have to take an elevator. These beautiful furniture. I'm gonna spend the entire night in that bathtub. I have this area which I can entertain. Get high, high ceiling. There's any place you want to stay here in Surabaya, Majapahit Hotel. It is. It's really historical. You'll love it. So we're having a little bit of a late brunch here, and I am in Historica Coffee and Kitchen, and I've ordered my egg Benedict. Look 
how marvelous this is. When you come here, you have to order the salad. This is the green salad, it's amazing. This place is incredible. Big spaces, lots of sitting area. There's a bar behind this area. They open about nine-ish. And the interior is also amazing. I love this place. Love the lamppost, the bar, the canopy green, and the fountain garden at the back. This is a must visit if you are here in Surabaya. So Surabaya is not only blessed with amazing cafes, Surabaya is also the city of ice cream thanks to this brand. This brand is called Zagrandi. Zagrandi? I hope I'm saying it correctly. So Zagrandi is a homemade Surabaya brand and it's been around since 1930. 1930, I never knew that we had ice cream in Asia. In 1930, they started selling ice cream in 1930 and today they are homegrown brand. It's an institution in Surabaya where all the locals come to get their ice cream. They have branches every um, and this branch is also in the south side of Surabaya and what an amazing place to have ice cream. I particularly like the chair, the rattan chair, colorful rattan chair. The ice cream to order is definitely banana split. I haven't had banana split for a long time. I barely featured ice cream in my video but this is what every Surabayan told me to have. Mm. Mm. Okay, so it's a very different kind of sweet. It's a very sh strong condensed milk sweet. Oh my lord. Mmm. This is Surabayan style banana split. Mmm. Glorious. Really, really good. So there you go. Mmm. The grande. The ice cream. Where Surabayan flocks to. Here we are at Rawon Satan. Rawon Satan is a very well established restaurant here in Surabaya. They are very famous for everything beef. This are all the beef that they have. This is the tongue. This is the lung. All these intestines of the beef that they specialize here in Rawon Satan. The intestine satay. This is bird, bird egg. Mmm, this is not bad. This is the bird egg. Mmm, not too bad. And this is what everybody comes here for. Look at this black bee soup sauce. Let me have a first taste. Oh, super salty, super beefy. So, let me put this with my rice. And this is how they put the rice with um, sambal and lots of, I think this is being I think everybody that's, anybody, celebrity in Indonesia has visited this place. <sighs> Something very interesting here. Dinner time, dinner time. And here in Surabaya, you are absolutely spoiled with choices of many interesting places for dinner. I had a list and I had to boil down to like this one. So this is Indragiri. It's a very fancy place for dinner. It doesn't look very significant outside, but you walked in the hall. It's like having a dinner in a hall with like a wooden, half wooden, like like a like a hut. And the decoration is incredible. Each of the paintings are super large size. 
very beautiful land. As I said, very fancy place for dinner. I've ordered nasi campur. So nasi campur is a very typical Indonesian meal where basically it's, I think in Malaysia you call it zapan and in Singapore you call it thai fan. First you have tempeh. Temp this is tempeh. It's like a fried bean with meat sort. Indonesia is the only place I know where they mix noodle and rice. Veggies and beef. But this is guraimi pesto. Look at how amazing this fish is. The fish is called guraimi and I think pesto means like fried spicy sauce. Go. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Mm. My God. Mm. Sada, as they say in Indonesia. What a treat. It's a special occasion today for the festival as Surabaya celebrates 700 of being a city. Incredible festival. I couldn't believe that I'm in the right timing. So that parade lasted for nine hours. Nine hours that parade. They were like, they had like three hours in the afternoon and then they had like a five hours concert in the middle of the street. And then there was a night parade for another three hours. I found out that was called Surabaya Baganza. And this is to celebrate the city's 730th anniversary. I don't even know any Southeast Asian city that is that long of a history. The parade was incredible. I saw some really colorful float. They were really creative and the costume is just out of this world. How lucky I am. Before I let you go, here is my last stop. This is called Cloud 22 here at Double Tree Hilton Hotel right in the middle of the city and they make amazing cocktail here. It's not really a rooftop bar because it's completely enclosed, but it, I think the ceiling is glass and if it's a daytime or sunset time, then it's really a completely, you can see the skyline of Surabaya. This is the best rooftop bar, remember. What do I think of Surabaya? I think the people of Surabaya is what impresses me the most. They always have a smile on their face. They are very diverse. The whole city is super vibrant. As you can see, my hotel was amazing. Lots of great cafes. And again, the city is just full of incredible vibe of energy. I must return one day 
Thank you for watching this video. Please support my channel by going to buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. And there are more videos of Indonesia right here that you can enjoy. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye from Surabaya here in East Java.